Welcome back to another My League video on eFootball 2024. Uh, we're continuing with our What If Olympic Lyonnais campaign. Uh, what if I was appointed as president of football operations at Olympic Lyonnais? Um, basically, what if the decisions that led to such a poor start in a uh, poor start to the 23-24 season for our real life counterparts who are a bit different. Um, and I have to admit, uh, it's been going on pretty pretty good for us so far. We find ourselves second in the league behind PSG uh, after 11 matches, just two points behind PSG. Um, we had two draws. Uh, the first draw was in Shock Vision Olympique against Olympic Marseille, who are currently in third. And the most, most recent draw uh, was in our last game versus Clermont, PSG being the only team to have beaten us. Uh, and I believe they beat us to take top of the league, if I remember well. I I'm not too sure, but I think they beat us to take first in the league. Today we're headed uh, to the south of France um, to take on the Purple Folks, uh, Le Violet of Toulouse Football Club. Um, I'm hoping we're able to bounce back from what I believe was a poor result against Clermont Foot at home. We had an opportunity to keep pressure on PSG but we allowed Clermont to play their game and distract us so by the end of the match we could only share a point with them. Um, PSG is a team with so much quality that once they've, once they've found rhythm, they do not stop. So we do not want to put any more distance between us and them. We, can, we cannot simply hope that they lose or draw a few games. We must also run riot on our positions as well. Um, not too many changes in the lineup today. Uh, Bernardoni has come in in place of Melier. Uh, simple reason, he's currently on a B uh, live rating, um, Melier is on C, uh, so I've decided to bring him in instead. Um, Boscardi is really up for it, he's on A, uh, so I brought him in in place of Van. and rather than replace uh, Witzel with uh, Caicedo, who's on B, I've decided to run two DMs in, in this match and keep Witzel on because uh, I, I really think in the midfield there Witzel has been absolutely brilliant for me so I'm going to keep him on and we're going to try two DMs and the three center backs hopefully that actually is enough to bolster the squad and uh, the likes of Chenepo and Tovin with the three guys up front they're able to focus solely on attack um, with that being said, let's jump right into today's match and see whether the manager got things right. Uh, it's match day 12, it's Toulouse welcoming us, uh, welcoming us at uh, Stadium de Toulouse. Eye on the price, let's get it. Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And the match day noise at this place is truly special. The pride, the passion, it adds to a massive sense of occasion. And the lineup suggests, Jim, that it's going to be a 3 4 3 formation. Well, I always feel, Peter, that central midfield is a big area of responsibility in this system. It's not as easy for the front three to get behind the ball quickly if one of the wing backs is, is pushed on then the boys in the engine room have serious cover to provide so a lot of hard work has to go into this and at times you can get stretched but boy it can work at one end so Jim tell me this who are you looking for in particular here well Peter Axel Witzel is certainly a man known for his robustness 
Uh, a great filter in, in the midfield, but also a very key player with those quick transitions. His game is well suited to countering with his passing and, of course, that physicality he can add. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Looks to go up and over. Almiron. Tovan. Out to the left it goes. Over to the left. Oh, that was expansive and incisive. The type of move to please any coach. Now there's a shapes to shoot! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Punched away. And now a sudden chance to counter. Oh dear, less said about that pass, the better. If they want to counter, they could do with more speed. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. Witzel. Passing is crisp and sharp. Big chance! Goal! Leon! And Leon are in front. It's the stuff you work on the training ground time and time again, and it came off. But for the team of l'Olympique Lyonnais, after 20 minutes of jeu, the number 12. Lyon break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Almiron has given away a free kick. And he was quick to react. And if you have just joined us, still just one goal between them. And the score is 1-0. Played out to the left flank. Strong running down that left flank. A oh, lovely Fidi is such a good mover. Lovely bit of skill. There's the hit! They've scored! And the lead lost no time at all! Yeah, they say that fortune favours the brave, and we've just seen an example. This team has real personality and character. Speed of thoughts, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. And into the grateful arms of the keeper. And it's Tovan. Picked out brilliantly.
Not the most accurate pass. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that. That's a fabulous ball. Now that looks a decent ball. And they're on him in a flash. Threads one in. You can never be short of runners into space, as long as the space left behind is filled. A lot of space here, a real opportunity. And they've switched it over to the other side. Gineppo. Oh, he'll be annoyed with himself for not getting there. Now it's Tova. They need to play this quicker in transitions like this. Stood up well to him there. Well, he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. Tackle was certainly sturdy. Can he finish? Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Oh, the contact was as crisp as it comes. The direction was the issue. Gets his pass away. And he's onside. He's in a good position here. It's for Kim! take the lead and that is going to be the final action of the first half well it has been a very watchable football match that has already provided three goals both teams contributing plenty to it and in terms of scoreline it is close to being perfectly balanced the game living up to billing and plenty of thrills to keep the crowd warm we'll be resuming in a quarter of an hour from now with the scoreline 2-1 is back on the way no reported change to either side during the break Fakir goes pelting down that left hand side Fakir cleared without complication That's the end of that. It all started well enough. Fakir! That's just playing it safe and simple. Tova. Almiron. And here's Tova. Tova crosses. Can he put it away? Chance again. No, Leon really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case.
beyond the defence. He's beaten the offside and the shot. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Shorts. That's surely a foul free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Looking tidy in possession here. Spread out to the left. Just no time to dwell on the ball there. Le They've got to be quick moving this forward. No, that's been intercepted. Digne. Knocks it out wide. Almiron! Almiron! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, the balance and close control on his run was really sweet. The finish left a sour taste. It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalise on now. There's the shot! Digne. Witzel promptly onto that, and that is that. And it's played forward. Oh, no, that was never going to make it. And no, he's seen through all of that. Good running with the ball. Leon surely have to be commended for their drive and desire. Most teams would be taking the easier defensive route by now. It's a pretty loose pass. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Changement pour Toulouse. Le numéro 13. À sa place. Attention. Le numéro Changement. 7. Interesting ball. Pass is just off target. And that's been levered clear. Changement for Toulouse. Le numéro 12. Pour le remplacer, le numéro 15. He's looking to set free a runner. Now it's Fekir, chooses to go back. Real chance! And that would have won it. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Lyon 
need to hold on for a few more moments. And he's had it nicked away. Yeah, they were looking for a counter-attack. Lyon certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Decent hit! And it's in! And surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! Yeah, they were made to pay for not moving the ball smartly enough through a very strong pressing wave. But for the team of Olympique Lyonnais, after 89 minutes of play, the number 10. Lyon could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, that's a really bitter blow. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. He's in plenty of space here. Toulouse with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. Well, now here's a good battle, bicep to bicep. Now he's not played the ball, that's a foul. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. Time added on, four minutes. And that's that. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. Fakir taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Lyon just seemed to be one of those sides that thrives on adversity. The tougher it gets, the, the more they come true. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you. Well, guys, I do want to say that uh, Jim Beglin probably has it right. It seems that we uh, we kind of thrive on adversity. We thrive on things being difficult for ourselves. Uh, in the second half, things change uh, a little bit. We went ahead. Um, in, in stats uh, in the second half of the game but in in the first half to be fair to Toulouse they, they actually put up a great fight uh, against us um, I do believe we could have went either way even if we went into that half uh, with the lead um, Fekir out, from outside the box despite being haunted by the defender at the 48th minute he basically broke the, the, uh, the tie uh, between us. Uh, I do think um, the game was pretty balanced at that point, really balanced game in the first half. Um, but like I said, in the, in the second half, we, we kind of we kind of pushed ahead of, of tools. Although, although they still, they still uh, managed to uh, keep us honest in the second half, I, I will say Bernard only was pretty great for us. He did save us some of those, those shorts. Uh, could have could have cost uh, us a lot, but he was able to to save it. But um, at the 89th minute, Almiron, with his great positioning, he basically uh, put the game to bed, uh, gave us that third goal. Um, match ends 3-1 uh, against Toulouse. We'll take that. But it is a win. I'll take it. A good win, as, as a matter of fact. 3-1. Nothing to complain about. Pretty good game. I enjoyed playing that game a lot. Um, Strasbourg uh, losing at home against Olympique de Marseille in Lens and, and, and Montpellier putting on a show there with a 5-3 5-3 slumber knocker. Um, I wish I could have seen that game. Eight goals out of that game. Lance, Lance coming out with uh, the victory. PSG still continuing their form. 
Uh, like I said, if you give them a chance, they will not let let up. Uh, once they got into that first position, I knew things was gonna, things were gonna be difficult. Anyway, they they defeated Monaco uh, 2-1. Stade Rennais taking a clean victory against Reims uh, 3-0. Uh, a goalless draw for Nice and Lorient. Um, Stade Brest and Nets actually drawing 2-2. Not losing at home against La Havre. Um, another great game. Seven goals coming out of that one. Lille taking on Clermont Foot. They drew against us, but uh, fell to a very potent attack from Lille. Uh, Five two there, uh, which ends match day twelve. Um, after twelve games played, we're still in second, but we're keeping PSG honest. Uh, if we had not gotten that draw against Clermont Foot, uh, we would be drawn on points with PSG. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this, is not, this is not how the cookie crumbles, so we're sitting on 29 points, two points behind them. Marseille, our Olympian foes, are right behind us, two points behind us, uh, keeping us honest as well. And Stade René, Real and Lens, not too far behind, all sitting on 25 points. At the bottom of the table, Strasbourg, Toulouse, or not. Uh, I think this is all she wrote for these teams. I, I fail to see how they're able to turn the season around. Strasbourg was able to get a few wins there, but um, not enough to make much of a difference for them. Uh, Toulouse are not still sitting on one victory each. And not having lost 10 games out of 12. Um, pitiful. Um, I, it seems like it's relegation for certainly for, for not, and I would say the same for Toulouse after that loss against us today. Um, this has been to, to uh, challenge fail. I thought the challenge was to not concede a goal between match day 12 and match day 13. But for somehow, somehow we actually fail, fail that challenge. It is what it is. But this has been uh, match day 12. Um, match day 13, pretty big game uh, coming up for us. Uh, it's going to be a very difficult game against Lille. Uh, Lille has been doing pretty good um, so far in the season themselves. Um, I look forward to playing that game against them. Um, we got the victory against Toulouse, so uh, that's the day. Today was we got the victory against Toulouse, so it's been a very productive day. I will take it 3 1 to Olympic Lyonnais. We're gonna go back to Lyon, very happy to get and also prepare ourselves to face Lille. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you want to keep up with the content, subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.